Teacher, teacher, you know, I went with my parents to a diamond exhibition over the weekend. Mm -hmm. I have never seen so many sparkly diamonds in my life before. So, did you get one? Uh, of course not. They are very, very expensive. Well, if you cannot afford to buy one, then how about you make one? A man-made diamond? Is that possible? Of course! We chemists can now produce our own diamonds. In fact, many jewelries on the market today are produced from man-made diamonds. <gasps> really? You don't believe me? Here, take a look at these synthetic diamonds. <gasps> wow! Aren't they beautiful? OMG, OMG, my goodness, they look like the real deal. How do they make it? Well, all we need are some carbon, like graphite, and a metal catalyst. Uh, wait, black graphite? That's used to make beautiful, transparent, sparkly diamonds? That's crazy! Well, if you subject the graphite to a pressure of about 50,000 atmospheres and a temperature of 2,000 degrees Celsius for about 24 hours, you are on your way to getting diamonds. Ah, uh, no, no, seriously, seriously. I cannot believe that they are both made of the same thing. More accurately, they are both made of the same element. And that element is carbon. But teacher, Diamond is the hardest natural substance known to man, while graphite is soft. Why are they so different? That is a very good question. Let me explain this in detail. Okay. A diamond consists of carbon atoms covalently bonded together into a three-dimensional crystalline structure called the network covalent structure. Due to their crystalline structure, Network covalent structures are very hard and have high melting temperatures. Students often ask what kind of network covalent structure a diamond has. Well, in a diamond, the carbon atoms are arranged in a tetrahedral structure. Each tetrahedral carbon atom is interlocked with four other carbon atoms, each having four single bonds. Hence, in essence, a diamond is a single macromolecule. Oh, okay, so a diamond is, simply put, a giant molecule. Macro means big. That's right, and a diamond is hard and chemically inert because of its rigid construction of the network covalent structure. Uh, teacher, are there other examples of network covalent substances? Yes, another example of a network covalent substance is quartz.